When weather struck, the Gloria a Dios was violently rolled over. I was caught by my right knee and dragged under the surface of the Atlantic. I saw her sail away and leave me there. And I was alone in the dark in the storm, 250 miles offshore. I could feel the heat just draining out of me. His only chance for survival was a signal sent to space just before he was dragged underwater. Dennis's emergency beacon activated and transmitted a distress signal, triggering a chain reaction into an intricate search and rescue satellite-aided tracking system that has been saving lives since 1982. NASA, NOAA, the U.S. Air Force, and the U.S. Coast Guard are working together to eliminate the search out of search and rescue to reduce the amount of time to reach victims in distress. The reality is, is that there have been over 27,000 people saved by this system, many of which were done by the GOES satellites. The GOES weather satellites have the ability to constantly oversee a large area of the Earth and send real-time data to users. Every country that can see the GOES satellite is able to pick up the distress downlink. The beacon goes off and sends a message out to whoever can hear it. Uh, a GOES satellite, if it's in view of the beacon, will see it, and then it'll take that message and just relay it, repeat it back down to the ground. The EPIRB I had was an older model, and so it did not encrypt a GPS location into the signal. If the distress is from an old beacon, which does not transmit it, its own location, then the GOES satellites provide an immediate alert. Then you wait until the BOSE satellite flies over it and gives you the location. These beacons can be encoded with GPS location, and that's been an advancement over the last 15 years. This allows us to not only speed up the rescue coordination effort, but the chances of survival for someone in a distressed environment increase significantly. Purchasing and registering a beacon was critical in saving Dennis's life. That information that's coming from directly from the distressed beacon to the satellites is the one key link that we have to actually find out um, where something is happening. And hopefully, again, if the beacon is registered, um, tell us who um, that beacon belongs to. Technology developed by NASA and operated by NOAA led to a quick Coast Guard response and a challenging Navy rescue. That diver came down in there, Navy, U.S. Navy. He came down into that storm for me. That is the bravest thing I've ever seen anybody do in my life. The helicopter took me to the deck of the Eisenhower. I'd been cold and wet for four days. I didn't have any shoes, but I was sure glad to be there. People take for granted the risks to rescue personnel. So anything we can do to minimize the area that they have to cover, the amount of hours they have to fly, is better for them. A new system called the Distress Alerting Satellite System, or DAS, is currently being tested successfully at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. The Distress Alerting System will carry a search and rescue repeater on a complete constellation of satellites. In the case of the GPS system, that means 24 satellites will be listening for victims all over the surface of the Earth. With the new system, the information we will get, it will be quicker, it will be more accurate from the instant that there is a distress happening out there. Once the system is fully operational, the ultimate goal of eliminating the search out of search and rescue will be accomplished.